Hey Aggies, it's Chancellor May and Lachelle. It's time for this week's Thursday Thoughts. But before we get started, I want to remind everyone to get your vaccines if you haven't done so already. They're safe and effective. Recently, we've learned that spikes in deaths and hospitalizations related to COVID are in those who are not vaccinated. I also want to remind our community that the UC has a vaccine mandate and everyone, with very few exceptions, must receive and report their vaccination by September 8th. For more information about that, please go to campusready.ucdavis.edu slash COVID vaccination. Now onto your questions. Uh, you want to go first or want me to go first? No, because I have to think about it for a second. I thought you would say that. <laughs> so uh, if my mother is listening, my favorite nonfiction book is the Bible. <laughs> However, yeah. my favorite nonfiction book is probably the autobiography of Malcolm X. Fiction, I don't know if I can narrow it down to one book because I like so many sci-fi. Maybe the uh, Isaac Asimov series, Foundation, is one of my favorites. Uh, that's several books, but I would say that storyline is one of my favorites. I like your answer. Gonna use my answer. Yeah, use your answer. Those are my favorite. No, no, you, no, you read uh, Sydney Sheldon. What? Oh, those books also you have like? depth. I can't even. You like... don't want people to know that you read Sydney Sheldon? Well, there. <laughs> <laughs> James Patterson, Patterson. All about murder mystery. Yeah. They have no depth enough to say, you know, that's my favorite book yeah. of all times. So, How know. about nonfiction? I don't know. I liked Michelle Obama's book. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good Coming. one. Coming. Yeah. Yeah. yeah all right. Good. We'll go with those. Yes. I did watch Invincible. It was recommended to me by my daughter Simone uh, and her boyfriend Adam, who also watched it. And I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it. It was entertaining. Can't wait till season two. And you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Invincible came from a comic. It's a superhero. There's aliens and spaceships, so you wouldn't like it. But um, it was a pretty good storyline. What is it on HBO, Netflix? Ugh. Okay, one of the streaming. Okay. Uh, maybe Amazon Prime. Okay. Yeah. That's a hard one. I've been to so many places. Um, I have my top one. I think my favorite is probably the Serengeti. Yeah. No doubt about the it. The Safari and yeah. Serengeti was, was... I think that experience is... It was you almost can't a, get it anywhere. Almost a spiritual experience really being out there I with the animals. I felt like yeah. very uh, serene. It's hard to describe that you're in a Serengeti with just all these animals and just... There's no music. There's nothing. It's just quiet and, yeah. it, and it was all day it was five days of just serenity right. and, and we were uh, overlooking the elephant watering yeah. hole and all that that was really great yeah it's I if you say, could do a if you could do a safari oh uh, yeah i would recommend there's it. nothing like it there really isn't the only like drawback it. was the kids weren't with us so it wasn't a family vacation right, we went with right. other, other couples yeah so i would say on the family side uh what do you think maybe anguilla yeah, I don't know. The Maldives. A good one. We have a whole Maldives bunch. Maldives is a good but... one. Yeah, we've got a lot of good family yeah. vacations. Check yeah. our Facebook page for all the family vacations. But we always enjoy the girls and their friends and our boyfriends yeah. uh, joining us on vacation. I think Italy was a very good one because Italy, Italy you had a, a variety of land and sea because we had, yeah. you know, Rome and then we went to Capri and it was just the food was amazing. Yeah. The, it was, that was a really good one too. Spain was good too. Yeah, same thing. Land yeah. and we did the Rock of Gibraltar and as well as Barcelona, so it was yeah. land and sea kind of. And there was that cosmopolitan photo shoot at the hotel. Yes, I remember yeah. that. <laughs> I like the land and, the and sea. food was yeah. great in Greece. Yeah. Food was great in Italy as well, for sure. It's kind of yeah. hard to pick a good one. Yeah. Go I first? Could, yes, I don't mind answering that because that one's easy. I think both for both of us, we have a spiritual foundation. Yeah. And I was brought up in the church. I, I, I don't want to offend anyone who doesn't believe in God or atheists or so forth. But um, my growing up with faith has just made it so easy to do, to cha to do with challenges and difficult times and loss and those things. Um, yeah. It just you just um, it brings you back to our purpose and here on earth and different things like that. So yeah, I, I agree completely. I would add that having a, a good support system, partner, family, friends, a good network to you know be there for you when you're not going through a good situation through some adversity it's also really important it's helped helped me quite a bit but I, I don't think you have to feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders yeah and that's why I mentioned having a support system because it's good if you can let these things out and vent and share with people that care about you because otherwise it sort of results in you know mental health issues for yourself if you keep all of that in so that's why a support system is important yeah, and yeah, and I think the hopelessness is um, sometimes you think um, you you're the one that has to provide a solution or where's a reason, 
but with a spiritual guidance, you let it go because you realize that you believe that there's something greater than you that's watching over you, protecting you, and helping you through things. Yeah, yeah. I agree. That was, that was Thursday Thoughts for this week, Aggies. Uh, good to be with you. Uh, stay healthy and stay safe and go, go Aggies. Aggies.